This is Info Live TV headline news, May 3rd. I'm Margot Dutkevich. Hundreds of flag waving Palestinian policemen deployed in Jenin Saturday, part of Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas's attempt to assert control over the West Bank. Jenin is the third town in which newly trained Palestinian troops were deployed in large numbers after Nablus and Tulkarim. Walid Jumblat, a pro-government Lebanese politician, called Saturday for the expulsion of Iran's ambassador and the ending of Iranian flights to Beirut because they might be carrying weapons and money to Hezbollah. At a press conference from his family home, Jumblat said he and Parliament Majority Leader Saad Hariri could be targets of assassination. Major powers agreed Friday to make a new offer of incentives to Iran to halt its sensitive nuclear work, but will include helping Tehran to develop civil atomic power. The offer, whose details have not been made public, is based on a package of economic and political benefits laid out by the five permanent members of the UN Secretary Council and Germany. A blast in northern Gaza that killed a Palestinian mother and her four children Monday was not caused by the Israel Air Force. A probe into the explosion conducted by the IDF Southern Command concluded Friday. According to the findings of the probe, four terrorists were spotted carrying weaponry and explosives on their backs and were the only targets that were hit. As a result, secondary explosions occurred, killing the mother and children. Prime Minister Hood Olmert's situation is serious and problematic, and it's doubtful that he will be able to continue to serve as Prime Minister. A senior law enforcement official was quoted by Channel One as saying Friday, after Olmert was questioned under caution by police over what are believed to be new allegations against him. A court placed gag order still prevents the public from knowing the reasons for Friday's probe. A Palestinian armed with a knife who was shot by soldiers in Hebron Friday night succumbed to his wounds Saturday. Soldiers opened fire at Khalil al-Zari, 28, when he approached the checkpoint in Hebron, wielding a knife, ignoring soldiers' calls to drop it. Zari was taken to hospital in Israel, where he died. That's all for Info Life TV, Israel's only internet television website that broadcasts in four languages to the world.